Greetings from a van in Park Rapids, Minnesota. I know that sounds random because, well, the whole game plan was to go out west. We were going to go to Colorado, Montana, Wyoming, go see the Tetons, go see Yellowstone, all those kinds of things I was going to get to do with my little dog. Uh, but Vandoff issues just continued to mount and mount and mount. And at some point, I made a decision to, I'm going to start heading home. Um, so that's why I made it. I made it as far as a place called Sundance, Wyoming, which is like just right on the border of Wyoming, uh, on the eastern side, uh, right outside of South Dakota, which is where I had to turn around, go get transmission work done. So this is not going to be like a typical episode where I, you know, do all the fancy lights and sound effects and music and drone shots. So I just want to give you a real time update of how I came to be at this lake in Minnesota. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to kind of start things off back when I left New River Gorge National Park. Uh, that is where things started to go awry. And so we'll just pick up there. So uh, roll the film, Johnny. Oh, here's a real big shocker. There's something wrong with Vandoff again. It's overheating. Got plenty of coolant. Never had any issues with that before. Why not? <sighs> Have you guys ever seen this many vehicle issues like in a period of two weeks? Anyway, it's hot. Sorry for the tank. So what looks like what happened is there's on the radiator, there's a bung, which is like where you can take off and then all the coolant can come out. I was looking at a picture of, um, like here's a radiator. It's like at the bottom, right there, that little part right there, right there, is gone my radiator so um, I don't know how to fix it so as soon as I put like coolant in it it just pours out the bottom so uh, MacGyver I remember he solved a radiator problem with an egg once like the egg got hot and then it turned into a fried egg and it sealed the hole like that's a thing I have eggs I'm just kidding I'm not gonna try that um, so I don't know I'm just gonna try to fix try to find something to plug the hole This is crazy. So I have sort of a love-hate relationship with Advance Auto Parts. The hate part is the fact that I was a general manager for them for like six years. And um, they were an, just a god-awful company to their employees. The good part is they have my part in stock. The bung, the drain cock, they have in stock. So I ordered that and some coolant and like some other stuff to get free delivery, home delivery. Talk to the, the manager there. He's on his way home. He has to cross a bridge, so he's just gonna drop it off at my campground. So like, this definitely is the best of all the bad situations that I've been through. Uh, fingers crossed that it works. I mean, there's always, I mean, there's always my luck, as you had clearly grown to know and hopefully love and appreciate. And uh, like and comment to support this channel because, well, we have to buy bungs sometime. Okay, update. So the drain cock thing is like two pieces, both plastic. One of the plastic pieces was still stuck in the old radiator, which yes, I've torn all this apart. Coolant, all, all this, just to get down to the bottom of the drain cock. The bad news is a piece of the old one broke off into the radiator, which I can't get to. The good news is the new one plugged right in looks and feels like it's sealed fine I really hope that other plastic piece does not come to burn me later down the road when does it end I might be buying a sprinter I don't know <laughs> you know new vehicles have problems too it's not just old ones all right little buddy should I just rename this channel Daily Breakdowns with Johnny. 
how to deal with them. Probably not, because I don't deal with them well. I just stress. I'm such an anxiety-ridden fellow. And this just... This just doesn't help. But yet, here we are. Gross. Yeah, I know. Big surprise. I'm at an auto parts store. Here we go again. I've got to fix that transmission fluid leak. It's really bad. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be that hard of a fix. They make a little thing. It's, it's like right where the um, radiator is. So I'm just going to replace that and hopefully see if that fixes it. Good evening from the Palisades Kepler State Park in Iowa. God, I love Iowa. It's my second time in the state and I just absolutely love it. I've never, ever been disappointed. There's just cool rock formations and water everywhere and nice people and it's just great. So the campsite's right back there and we're just gonna go on a short 0.25 mile walk um, to the river, which I think is called Crystal River. It's almost sunset time, so I just wanna go see if I can capture a uh, Nice little time lapse of the sunset, and then um, I'll catch you up to speed, eh, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna be here for two days, I'm gonna be here all day tomorrow, so I have nothing really to do except for work on the van again. Hopefully, though, I'm gonna get this last problem fixed and um, no more problems, that's it. No more problems for the rest of the trip, that's it. So look, you've seen me deal with some major issues with Vandoff, lots of breakdowns, but something really major has happened. My coffee maker's cracked. Look at that crack. It goes all the way down to there. My coffee maker. I love this coffee maker. Okay, another day, another problem with Vandoff. Uh, as we were driving here yesterday, I had a transmission fluid leak, but it's gotten so bad. It's, I don't know if you can see down there, but it's the transmission line. It's a fitting where it goes into the radiator. Yeah, the transmission cooler on the radiator. Uh, the fitting has gone bad. But the cool thing is they make an actual replacement fitting. So I'm gonna try to remove the line from the transmission. I mean, this leak is so bad that like, I mean, it's, it has leaked all the way to my muff, to my exhaust. <laughs> my freaking exhaust has transmission fluid all over it. Like it's all underneath the under, it's like I went through uh, two and a half quarts just to drive 300 miles yesterday. Um, it went through a lot, so like clearly that leak has gotten pretty bad. I feel bad for anybody who's driving behind me. They probably got a bloody colored shower. Transmission fluid is red. And I've left little bits of Vandoff's blood all over. So hopefully we're gonna get that fixed today. And then come on, man, let that be the last one, the last problem. So let's get to work. So I don't have a drain pan to when I drain, when I disconnect the line from the thing because it's going to leak transmission fluid everywhere. So, I happen to have a thing of, this was just water I had used for that coolant leak that I had. Yeah, I'm having such a good time. So I'm just making a, uh, putting a little hole. And now I have a drain pan. Oh. 
Okay, so quick update. Uh, the fitting, I actually bought two. Because they had two sizes that might fit for my GM vehicle. And in typical Johnny fashion, neither of them fit. So, so I think I just got a third solution, which is I just got this high temp gasket maker. I'm just gonna screw the old one back on and then just gasket the crap out of it with this ultra red. Um, yes, I know it's gonna be permanent, but I don't care. Worst case scenario, if I ever have to change it out, I already know that I can take the radiator out without too much problem because I did that two days ago. So, cause I, I think it might be the hole on the inside of the radiator. I don't know, it's starting to rain. This is gonna work, this is gonna work. So I am desperately hoping that this is the last time on this trip that I have to do this. Oh, please let it work. It's gotta work, man, it's gotta work. So good sign, nothing's dripping out. It used to drip out like right there. I patched it. You can see all that red in there, way down there. Way down there, that's where I patched it. And I don't see anything coming out. Oh, I hope it's fixed. Good morning from Lake Okaboji in Iowa. Iowa's where I'm at. I have been in Iowa now for five days. And in no way is that depressing. I love Iowa. Uh, I've just been kind of campground hopping uh, as we slowly head west. I'm trying to take my time. It is May 12th. So, um, I know there's some roads that I want to go over once I get into like Wyoming, like through Red Lodge and into Yellowstone and stuff. They don't open until Memorial Day or Labor Day, whatever the ones at the, whichever one is at the end of May. I think it's Memorial, nope. Yeah, I think it's Memorial Day. Loudest plane ever. So this morning I am very excited and it's not because I had a whole bunch of coffee because I haven't had any coffee yet. I'm going to, but I'm excited because, well, I'm tired. Last night I stayed up to like 2.30 a.m. waiting for the Northern Lights because they're supposed to be visible this far south. All the way down to Arizona, I've been seeing pictures and pictures. Uh, so I stayed up till 2.30, did not see any here in Iowa. Um, I have it on a time lapse, there's like one frame. There's like one frame, here I'll put it here. Vandoff did flawless on the way here. So we did uh, 400 miles two days ago. Flawless, I think the leak is fixed. Everything just feels normal again. So fingers crossed that's gonna be the whole rest of the trip. It's gonna happen, it's gonna be. It's gonna be smooth sailing. Anyway, let's get going. So, big shock. Vandoff is messed up again. I just went through this crazy like off-road canyon area. So there's a lot of incline and decline. I was going back and shifting gears. Uh, and now it's not, I'm back on the highway and now it's not shifting into um, drive. So it's just staying in second gear. I hate my life. Good morning from Spearfish, South Dakota. Got here a little bit late in the day yesterday. Had some more Vandoff issues, transmission problems. But we're here now and everything seems to be running as it should. Uh, this is Spearfish City Campground, which I'm usually kind of leery about like city campgrounds because they're usually kind of sketchy, but this one is not. I mean, look at this. I've got river right here. 
Uh, it's like right in the like city. There's like a city park right over there. There's like a fish hatchery over there. So I just made breakfast this morning of pork chops and eggs and it was delicious, but I've got a mess. I need to clean that up and then we're gonna go exploring. Hey, little Wyatt, do you want to go for a walk? You do? You want to go for a walk? Yeah, you want to go for a walk? Yay! Let's go for a walk. So literally right behind me is the city campground. And right here is the DC Booth Historic, oh God. <laughs> you almost had him, buddy. The DC Book. Uh, historic fishery. So we're just gonna walk around here and explore. I see some fishes already. What up my fishes? Neat. So this is cool. They've got a shop. They've got, ready for this? Underwater observatory. Look at all these fishes. Hey little guys. Hey little buddy. So if you've ever wondered what a fish hatchery looks like, it looks a little something like this. Maybe thousands of fish in there? I don't know, but look at this property. There's so much to see. It's a museum. There's a giant boat. Neat. So that over there is what's called a fish car. In the 1870s up to um, the early 1900s, that's how they would transport fish in a fish car. And they would only go May through, like May through February or whatever. Like the, the colder months because of, you know, refrigeration. But they would carry like 20,000 pounds of fish in one of those things. That's so much fish. Oh, look at the little babies. And also, listen to them hiss to protect them. I'm not getting any closer, guys. They're so cute. I know, you're interested too. Let's leave them alone. You got a stick? You got a stick? You got a stick? What are you doing with that stick? What are you doing with that stick? Wow, I am loving the town of Spearfish. We just walked around the downtown area. Um, yes, I've done Spearfish Canyon before. I've done some waterfalls, uh, like Bridal Veil Falls, and I don't know, like two other ones. I just don't want to be redundant. Uh, you can look back here, I'll put a link two years ago when I did Spearfish Canyon. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever done the town of Spearfish. And I just extended my stay for another three days. Because I really like it here. Big surprise, I'm broken down again. Transmission's not shifting out of maybe third gear. I'm so over this trip. I just wanna ship the van home, burn it. I don't know, I don't know what to do. So I went to Napa and I bought all the um, transmission shift solenoids because I feel like it's a shift solenoid uh, I feel like that's what it is but it's sort of beyond my capabilities of being able to repair um, and I just I just feel defeated man this is a this is a it, this is sucked the joy and love out of travel this trip I every time I start the van I, I just assume something's gonna go wrong and I understand that quote of we project that which is in front of us, I get it, but this is something I, I, I just, it's, it's, it's crushed my soul this time. And I'm only a month in, I'm a little a tiny over, I'm like a month and a couple days in. So I'm not even in, I was planning on going for four months and I've just been sitting here on Google Maps planning a route home from, from Wyoming and not even going to the Tetons or Yellowstone or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just so over it. It is, these van problems have just sucked my joy of travel. So I'm thinking I'm going to go home. 
good morning from Ruder Campground again. We changed campsites and this is much nicer. Look at this view. I don't have a bunch of neighbors around me. It's great. I'm in a really good mood. Uh, I don't deserve to be because I have this massive thing going on in less than 24 hours where I try to drive Vandoff to wherever we're going. Um, but it's like 55 degrees. There's not a cloud in the sky. This might be our last night of camping for a while. Like, I just, I don't know. So there are so many variables that will be answered tomorrow. Um, I have a new plan. I was going to just haphazardly try to drive all the way back to Florida on this intermittent bad transmission problem. Um, but I can't do that. Just can't do that. It's not, it's not smart. I've had some days to think about it. Some hikes, you know, in the mountains, in the trees, in the forest to clear your head. So we're going to try to get to an actual town, uh, closest town is going to be Spearfish, so I'm going to see if there's any transmission repair people in Spearfish. If not, um, I'm going to try to make it to Sioux Falls, Iowa, so you basically just drive all the way across the state of uh, South Dakota. Like I said, once I get on the highway, it's fine, so if I get on the highway, I can just haul. Um, there are definitely some places, I, I like both those places. Uh, if I go to Spearfish, I have a place to camp, uh, there's hotels, There's it, it's fine, it's a proper town. Um, and then I've never been to Sioux Falls, but it looks like there's a lot to do. So like if I am stuck for a day, two, three days, whatever, without the van, I can get a hotel and go exploring by foot. So, but that's tomorrow's problem, which means yeah, I'm definitely not going to sleep tonight. But today is today. So I've got to, I'm just going to cook up all my like perishables that I have. Cause like I said, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So having some breakfast here, I've got coffee and, uh, a little mahi mahi, some cheese, um, just some. So all day, I, I, I just have some stuff to cook, and so we're just gonna cook things up all day. Uh, and I have some. I have a half a box of wine. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm gonna try to get rid of that today. <sighs> Man, I am so. It's nice to be in a good mood. It's nice to be in a good mood and wake up feeling good. We're gonna go for a long hikes today, but also the impending doom, possible of tomorrow morning. It's it's the not knowing, really. Like I said, it's intermittent, the problem, so it's like the not knowing of what's gonna happen and what our scenario is gonna look like. But I'm in good spirits, I promise. We're gonna make it, you and me. We're gonna make it through this. Let's Let's do this. Well, good morning. Today is the day. Today is the day we're gonna find out what our destiny holds. Um, just gonna button things up here at camp. It is Tuesday morning, bright and early, and we're trying to make the drive to Spearfish to where there is a transmission shop, which is 40 miles. So I'm just hoping, the, the problem is like down, so it's, it's happened twice, the, the big problem where it won't shift from second to third, and both times I was coming down a mountain. And today I'm gonna be going down a mountain, this, this mountain. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna make it. Both times I've been able to kind of stop, disconnect the battery, let it cool down, and when I started back up again, it, it went on its merry way, which is a good thing. Um, that's what I mean by it's intermittent. So, we're gonna see, so I'm gonna take it to the shop, see what they have to say, see if they can get to work on it, um, and just stay in spearfish and just kind of figure this whole thing out from there. Wish us luck, you and I, on this adventure together. Let's go. Guys, guys, we've made it. We've made it onto the highway. Today is going swimmingly. So far, it's still early. Still gotta find this transmission shop. Gotta see what they have to say and much success so far this morning. I'm excited. Okay, we made it to the transmission shop. Talked to Mike, the tech. I uh, told him exactly what was going on. He sounded very confident, exactly. He was like, oh, it's probably this, this, or this. Uh, I feel very relieved to have that conversation. The only downside is today is Tuesday. Uh, they can't look at it until Monday. So I'm gonna stay here for a week, minimum. But I just, I don't wanna go further. I just don't want that, I don't wanna be stuck on the road again. Um, I just wanna get the issue taken care of. So I'm okay with it. Spearfish, we've camped here before. Yes, buddy. We've camped here before, and so I'm just going to go get some supplies from Walmart, which is right down the road, and go stay at City Campground. So it'll be fun, right? Come on, guys. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We're, it's fine. Everything's fine. 
We're back at City Campground, which in Spearfish, which is phenomenal, and just setting up camp here. Look at this, we got river, we got a little Wyatt, we got a chair, Randolph. So this is where we're gonna be for five days. Uh, literally things could be worse. This is not the worst case scenario. It is hot, and by hot it's gonna be 86 today, which is weird, and then tomorrow it's gonna be 62. That's the high. So weather, you know, at this time of the year, I mean, it's the end of May, uh, weird. So again, some positive things. Got my appointment book for Monday, for transmission, right down the road and then we're gonna figure out from there this might not be the end of the road I am the king of just over exaggerating and just overreacting we might be okay not gonna continue west probably but I don't know we're gonna figure out some more adventures it's gonna happen so today is the day today I'm gonna find out what's wrong with the van so I'm setting up a tent where Vandolph belongs so I don't know how long they're going to keep the van. Um, I'm hoping they get it done today. That would be great. Otherwise, I'm preparing for worst case scenario, setting up a tent, which of course is going to be the hottest day of travels. It's going to be almost 90 today. But I've also got a tent, a river, a little Wyatt, supplies. So, I mean, we should be fine. Everything's fine. I just missed the van already. So I will keep you guys posted as soon as I know what is wrong with the van. They're supposed to diagnose it and then call me and let me know what's happening. So, uh, ooh, here's the phone call right here. Let's see what we got. Hello? Hello? Hello, Johnny? Yes, yes, sir. Can you hear me? This is Brian, the transmission specialist. Brian, what's up, man? Of course. <laughs> I would suggest, as cheap as they are, just throwing both solenoids in. Let's do it. Because they're, they're not very expensive. It takes more time to take a yep. solenoid than the solenoid costs. Okay. This solenoid could be causing the no-force gear problem. It's just one of these things that you just have to... Unfortunately, with yours, it's not a clear cut. Right, I know. You, you pull it out. And right. You can, uh, but I'm hoping to be driving this thing here after lunch. And awesome. if it's still working good, we'll get it back to you and you put some miles on it. And yep. Listen. And take it from there. Listen, man. I appreciate you very much. And uh, like I said, if I haven't heard from you by 3 o'clock or so, I'll give you a shout. Yep. Sounds good. All right, brother. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Uh-huh. Shift solenoids. I can see that. It's a good conversation. Shift solenoids. Let's do that. Okay, fingers crossed that I'll be sleeping in the van tonight. Okay, I have good news. There's a van where there's a van supposed to be. Uh, not too, too bad. A couple of shift solenoids, um, a few hundred bucks. Uh, I can't say enough about A1 Transmission Specialist here in Spearfish. Bought a little hat, you know, because I'm basically a local now. Um, not quite sure what this means for the trip. I just, I genuinely don't know. Um, I'm not going any further west. But I think I might go visit Lake Superior. I think I might go to the UP. It's sort of on my way home, right? It's only 900 miles east. I mean, I'm going east anyway. Why not? So that's kind of, I guess, where my brain is at. Uh, hey, when I decide, you'll be the, you'll be the first to know. time from Spearfish City Campground. I hope so, the last time. It has been eight days that I've been stuck here and I am ready to move on. Uh, but I have to say, the town of Spearfish, I absolutely, absolutely love. 
Uh, this is almost a utopian society, I feel like. The grass is green. There's rivers everywhere. People are friendly. Um, there's just hiking trails everywhere throughout the entire town. It is just what a great, great place. But as I'm sure I've told you before, the original plan was to go out west. I was going to go to Wyoming and Montana and Colorado and all that kind of stuff. But I just, I'm so tired of van problems. I just want to stay out of the mountains, which sucks because I really want to be in the mountains. But so we're going to head north today into North Dakota. So that's exciting. I've never been to North Dakota, so that's a new state for me. Um, so there's a state park that I'm going to go check out, which is actually in Wyoming. It's actually Wyoming's largest state park. Uh, but it's like right on the border. It's like right there. And then from there, we're going to head east to, I'm going to go see the Great Lakes. I'm going to go see the UP area. That's the plan for right now. That could change next week. I don't know. But right now, we're just going to finish things up here, get cleaned up and get this show on the road. I'm excited to travel. I haven't traveled in over a week. I've been here for eight days. I'm ready to travel, man. Let's go. But first, first things first, gotta start the day out with coffee. There's a shop in town called Blackbird Coffee. <laughs> no, it's called Blackbird Espresso. Got a coffee, we got a sandwich here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes. What do you think, little dude? Hey. Take a bite. Does it smell good? Does it smell good? Oh, hi friends. Current day Johnny, back here with you. Um, welcome back to Minnesota. I feel like I've been here for a couple days now and I'm starting to sound like a Minnesota and don't you know. And nobody warned me about the mosquitoes here. They're, they're crazy. So I guess you could see what I went through for the last two weeks. Um, discouraging, disheartening. Um, I'm just sort of over it. So I am headed home, back to Florida, which is down here, let's picture, but I'm gonna go this way and then down to Florida. So I'm gonna go visit the Great Lakes, which I've never seen. I'm gonna go see Lake Superior, go see Lake Michigan, and just kind of drive through the east coast of Michigan and then head down, hopefully get into some adventures on the way. And uh, that's what the next few episodes will be. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully no van problems. Vandoff is driving smoothly again, fingers crossed, everything has been good. So, um, yeah, just thought I'd get you caught up in current day Johnny. Uh, what's going on? Next week we'll go back to um, like my regular scheduled videos in the Black Hills. Very exciting time in the Black Hills. So we'll pick back up then. I'll see you next week. Have a good week, everybody. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the